We are always looking for new ways to hack the immune system and stop cancer cells from evading immune processes that normally protect us. Our latest study was published in Nature and focused on ferroptosis, a non-apoptotic form of regulated cell death. This process occurs exclusively in the tumor microbe environment and contributes to immunosuppression of neutrophils, which are potent myeloid cells involved in killing cancer cells. Like a wave in a swimming pool, we found that the immunosuppressive effect of ferroptosis spreads from myeloid cells to other immune cells in the tumor microenvironment and helps cancer cells stay undetected by the immune system. Immune checkpoint inhibitors are in clinical use for a number of tumor types. We showed that in the presence of ferroptosis, these inhibitors may sometimes not be as impactful. Our findings may help explain why not all patients respond to checkpoint inhibition and responses are not always as deep or durable as we might hope. Our data identify ferroptosis as a potential new target in tumor microenvironment which may help us to overcome the defensive mechanism that tumors use to escape the immune system. Myeloid cells play a major role in anti-cancer response by recognizing and eliminating tumor cells while leaving healthy cells unharmed. Therefore, if we can prevent the immunosuppressive effect of ferroptosis on myeloid cells, we may open novel treatment options for patients who are not as responsive to existing immunotherapies. This is the first time anyone has proposed the inhibition of ferroptosis in cancer. The findings open a new direction in therapeutic targeting with the potential to enhance existing treatments through novel combination therapies or patient selection strategies. Right now, we have an understanding of the basic mechanism at play, but further work is required. We are focused on studying the inhibition of ferroptosis in the tumor microenvironment and excited to continue to explore the value of its selective targeting.